Hey, I'm right back with another video. It's like 1.26 p.m. It is Saturday. It is October 27th. And I am sitting here this afternoon. I just had lunch. And I've been watching some videos this morning, trying to keep myself busy. You know, I'm extremely bored, but we always know Maria is bored on the weekends. So I was flipping through um, videos this morning. Um, I watched a video on Amish people, which that's my kick right now. It kind of always has been. I'm Every once in a while, I'll stumble upon something relating to that subject, and then I get back on this interest. And then, you know, I'll, it'll subside, and then next thing you know, another video pops up, and then I'll watch it, and that just starts it all over again. Very interesting topic, um, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, so um, as I was flipping through my videos, some of my subscriptions, um, I, the people I subscribe to, their videos were coming up. So Gina Lynn's video came up today about, well, you tell your story. I personally think that all target individuals should tell their story for the simple fact that um, everything in this situation, you know, is one-sided. So people are basically being persecuted for things they're not aware of. And then obviously, because they don't understand what's going on around them, um, people are judging them and saying things about them. And then not only saying things about them, they're actually doing things that resemble what I call, what would be considered terrorism, you know, and um, that would be anything from harassment in, in, in various forms, you know. So, I don't regret making the videos. I would think that most targets, actually I think all targets should be making videos, okay, and then they should also be able to um, be identified with making those videos, you know. Um, not everybody shows their face. I mean, I think I've showed my face a few times so that people can identify I am the one that they're talking about, obviously. Uh, but I think it's good to let people know what happened, you know. And um, because everything is being held against you and you need to speak up about it. You know, you, you have your rights and you need to be protected. This is a form of domestic terrorism because when you are being denied your rights and you're being treated in a way where they um, are basically abusing you, it is definitely something you need to speak up about. So I think all target individuals should. There's different ways of getting the message out. Some people have made um, flyers and they go to, um, you know, places that they frequent, letting them know, hey, I'm a targeted individual. I, in the beginning, I sent out um, flyers and I also sent emails to certain people. And, you know, of course it was met with this, you know, I got some responses, like from a particular CPA, basically saying, you know, don't contact me, blah, blah, blah. But, of course, they're the ones who are doing it. They don't realize what they're doing is illegal. They think, well, we, this is just an administration function. This is function. This is just something that, you know, we, we're supposed to do. We're supposed to work in that background. No, you're not, okay? So a lot of people don't even realize what they're doing is a crime. And it is a crime. Um, so definitely get out and, and make videos about it um, and talk about it. I had to turn the air AC off. It was getting chilly in here. I get from hot to cold back and forth every single time I'm in this house, especially on the weekends. You know, it starts off pretty cold in the mornings. I put my robe on and it's like, oh God, it's getting, getting warm in here and then back, back, back and forth. But anyway, it's, it's good to talk about um, what's going on and tell the whole story, you know, and in my situation, like I said, it's easier for me to, you know, pull back from my my memory bank because my life is so humdrum. It's easy for me to do that, and then everyone will see, you know, that you're right in the first place. Okay, and there's a lot of pride out there. There's a lot of people who don't want to accept it. You know what I mean? I can't change their view, but the point is, is that no one can say I did anything wrong or deserve to be treated in this manner. So. Yeah, definitely go and make videos or do what you have to do, you know, even if you can talk about it on Facebook or something, get your story and your information out there. And hopefully people will start waking up and understanding that this is a crime. You know, some people are in, are concerned that they've been put on some sort of watch list. In some ways you have been, um, but really they are the terrorist. They are the ones who are terrorizing you. They're the ones who are harassing you. They're the ones who are... Um, you know, creating problems, stirring up gossip, and putting situations into place to harm you in various ways. So it's, they are, it's, it's considered domestic terrorism. And you know, what was I going to say? Um, it, um, 
it's funny because you know we live in such a barbaric world you know where people are, are willing willing and ready to lash out at you for something and they claim to love God it's very strange you know very very strange indeed but um, I woke, woke up this morning and I was thinking about certain things that were said and things that were done and it's a uh, it makes you wonder it's like you know how is it that your family could know that this is this is going on because they are participating in it they're destroying your life I would never be able to live with myself if I caused this sort of grief to somebody I would not be able to live with myself you know I, I couldn't I would feel so bad I would never get over it you know but then again I'm the only one without my house with a conscience you know what I mean one of the reasons why I'm a scapegoat because oftentimes the more one the more the one that has more empathy is usually the scapegoat these people are hardcore okay and they run over the people who feel sorry for you know people who have a heart and compassion like I used to cry over cartoons that were sad you know what I mean and I noticed that my other siblings didn't have the same sort of sensitivity that I did like you know I remember watching Snoopy come home and cry and cried cried over that cried over Nessie the long-eared donkey, cried over just whatever that would make me sad. You know, I always felt sorry for everybody and everything. And, you know, some people look at that as a weakness, you know, but it's not. It's not a weakness, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with having compassion, but it's a very rare thing, okay? Because a lot of people aren't on very big ego trips, okay? And um, some people think it's better in this world to be hateful and mean. That's just how it is, you know? I can't be that way. There's nothing in me. Now, I can tell somebody off and I can shred them to pieces if I have to, but I'm usually doing that because I'm defending myself, you know? Um, I don't like being that way, but I will if I have to. I don't like getting to that point. So, anyway. Yeah, today was, you know, one of those days I woke up and I knew the boredom was coming. I knew I was going to be extremely bored and I was going to be, you know, in upset and then I started thinking my things through. And I, I do keep recordings of what I think sometimes. Because it's like, I need to, not to share it on YouTube, but sometimes I just need it for my own, um, what do you call it, well-being. You know, just talk it out. I don't have anyone to share this with. Because, you know, it's heavy on me. It's very heavy. And it's very terrorizing. It is terrorism. It's a form of terrorism. Because, you know, you're dealing with this, hostility and you're dealing with you know what I consider to be immature people and it's damaging you you know it's damaging you on in every level you know so definitely you know um, when I have the opportunity to talk about it even if it's just to myself in a recording I'll do it because it, it helps me you know what I mean but I also think it's important for me to share my story and certain things about my story to people in the public that's one of the reasons why it's on YouTube you know my YouTube channel is not a very entertaining one it's more informational for my perps which I'm sure most of the people who aren't my subscribers are indeed perps okay there are some people who are targets in this program who who um, you know are, are subscribed to me but a lot of the people I'm sure are perps okay and it's for them okay like for example I've sent my videos to Karen Johnson I've sent them to Steve Murray okay they have seen them okay and they know that they're the orchestrators of this nonsense and I don't appreciate it you know um, as well as my family so you know I was thinking how today about how um, important it is to question your family okay because you know I will tell you that the only way something like this could actually get to this point is because somebody thought that somebody had authority to do something and as foolish as it is, there's a lot of situations where um, grown adults are being subjected to the demands of someone who is perceived to have authority. No one has an authority over any adult, okay? And anybody with half a brain should know that. Over the, and once you reach 18, you are an adult. But this is a situation with a lot of targeted individuals. They are being put in, I guess, submissive positions in some ways and it needs to be corrected because I'm not going to sit here and take anyone's direction from anybody at all you know and it's absurd to think that and I sure as hell wouldn't take any subject, subject, suggestions from my family 
the most backwards and most primitive people that ever existed on the planet. Um, no, thank you. So anyway, yeah, get up there and make some videos. I'm going to go and lay down, take a nap, you know, try to escape the boredom as much as I possibly can. And I will be back with another video some other time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.